Now that Cyberpunk's full platinum has been completed, we move on to the Game of the Year nominated and winner, Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty. Idris Elba nominated in the Best Performance category, and it actually won for the Best Ongoing category, showing how much time and effort CD Projekt Red are doing to get their known outstanding development of games back in the winning eyes of their fans, and not the shitty release of 2020. Oh fucking hell. Before we begin our journey into this incredible DLC, we'd like to thank our NC Collective for the amazing support they always show. If you do enjoy this video as well, make sure to drop us a comment down below and smash the like button. Phantom Liberty can be accessed at numerous points in the normal game. A story arc is created when receiving a call from new character, Songbird. We're using the same save from the core game as I already had leveled to max and had some serious firepower. Songbird asks us to meet and find out what kind of person she is. A net runner with some serious capabilities. She even gives us a new skill tree formed from the relic which is pretty damn handy. She leads us to a new area in Night City called Dogtown. Hopping into the market, move the, uh, the robotic limbs and we're in Dogtown. Looky looky at this. Oh this looks amazing. Now this looks amazing. I and mean, look at this collection this guy's got. Insane. Our aim is to meet with the president, Rosalind Myers. Songbird is helping us find the president, but suddenly panics. Then we panic, and all of a sudden we see missiles have been shot at the president's plane by villain of Dogtown, Kurt Hansen. Watching a horrific plane crash starts the second mission, which is to go rescue the president. Going for the trophy, all the president's men. More scaling. There's a lot of scaling in these first two missions. It seems to be climbing up everything. All right, we're at the plane crash. I'm just going to use the pistol. I used the sword all of the first game. I think it's time to use some guns. And the magnum's pretty damn cool. Oh, here comes a bloody... Oh, yeah. Oh, the grenade. The bloody grenade. So good. Once we've reached Rosalind Myers, the next step is to get her to safety, with Songbird acting as Benji to our Ethan Hunt. Benjamin Dunn? Benji, it's me. Ethan. She's a real badass. Just picks up the gun and carries on before I do. Nice. Nice. One more. Come on, lady. Did one more guy? Oh, there's another guy down here. Guard him. Defeat. Yeah, is that all? Yeah, boy, I say that all. That was like 50. Oh, and we get a trophy. All the president's men save President Myers. There you go. First trophy of Phantom Liberty. It's this badass. I mean, I, 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 she doesn't even need me. Come on. I like the way as well these mission, missions are chaining together. It's not like, oh, stop, start, get another phone call. It's literally mission after mission after mission, all flowing into one continuous mission, essentially, so far. Oh. <laughs> Run up straight to his face. Oh, they're coming from behind now. What's Songbird doing? Whatever she's doing, she needs to hurry up. Oh, she's controlling the mech in the middle. Oh, my days. She's losing control of the crime here. Okay, let's get out of here. Go, 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 go. Yeah, bye bye. I don't want to fight that. Jesus Christ, I still don't want to fight you. Run, I can do. Run, I can definitely do. Okay, run, I can't do. I'm out of focus and I can't run. Okay, now we actually fight it. The fool's damaged it enough that we can shoot it. Weak points down. Come on, we're getting them, we're getting them. It's gonna die, it's gonna die, it's gonna die. Come on, come on. Jump on top and finish it. Finish, finish it, finish it. Finish him. Finish him. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Rust and piss, shit bot. <laughs> Rust and piss. Arachnophobia, boom. There we go, take out the Chimera. With the president now safe, she requests that we locate an agent under the name Solomon Reed, mainly due to Songbird disappearing after losing control in the Chimera. Reed and I head back to the president to make sure she's safe as our mission to get Songbird back intensifies. We meet and recruit an old friend and agent of Reed's, Alex. With Reed, we head to the Voodoo Boys hangout and confront a blind netrunner named Slider. We use him to track down Songbird to which chaos ensues. The crazy red glitches are shown to us as the Black Wall, an incredibly dangerous firewall that can break through cyberspace and wreak havoc. It turns out that's what Songbird is using. We manage to speak to Songbird and she tells us she's being held captive by Kurt Hansen himself and to get over to his party in the coming days at the Black Sapphire. When attending the party, we find Songbird and Hansen together. Hansen then finds out who we are, but does let us leave alive. But that's only because I've smashed two French netrunners in roulette, come on. Before continuing with the story, we go for another trophy here. Easy come, easy go, for returning 10 vehicles to El Capitan. Very easy trophy, pick these vehicles up in the map, drop them back. To get to Songbird this time, we're going to use the identities of those two French twins from the party. 
We meet with Reed and Alex to discuss how we'll go about doing that. Scan their car and hop into the boot allows us to reprogram and control their vehicle. Once I've driven the trapped French Militech employees back to Reed and Alex, they then decide to give them a permanent headache. This is as Alex and I take on their personas and biometrics to impersonate them. We're on the mission Firestarter now, where we'll be in the presence of Hansen and Songbird. Songbird knows it's really us, but it's about to get super busy with it being here, the first selection process for all the different endings. Betray Reed, I'm with you, or betray Songbird one more second. Well, we've got to do them all anyway. Betray Reed. I'm with you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at her. Target down, Jesus fucking what? Okay, these these endings are gonna get pretty crazy if, if if this is just the first part of the first one. Oh my word, the escape here is insane. But no grenades though. Give me my grenades, man. I want my grenades. After we escape with Songbird, we receive a call from Reed saying this wasn't the plan and now our enemies. We do what we're not supposed to do and get into a stranger's van to find a vulnerable woman. Driving Songbird to the NCX is fulfilling her request as the black hole is slowly killing her. It's here we're defending a control tower away from Militech whilst waiting for the train. Songbird gets us to plug in and take control of the black wall. Whilst being surrounded and outnumbered heavily, we agree and start becoming a god. Seriously, Raiden's got nothing on this black wall stuff. Holy shit, I have power. Well, bye bye, Heli. Oh, brutalized. It's pretty good. I mean, why would you keep running at me if I have this power? We get Songbird onto the train and are going firstly for King of Wands trophy for sending Songbird to the stars. Ah, here we go. We've got the three options. So we're going to pick up Songbird. Time to go, so me. Ah, here comes bloody Reed. I can't let you take her. Sorry, man. Got to draw the weapon. Oh. Sorry, Reed. <laughs> Sorry, Reed. It's for a trophy. <laughs> All right, pick up so me. Let's go, let's go. After leaving Songbird on the shuttle, we watch it blast off with Johnny and claim our first story ending. Boom, King of Wands. That is for taking Songbird to the stars. All right, first ending down, four more to go. Now we just hit our load game, go back to the Killing Moon, and we can literally pick the next one straight away. And what we're gonna do is call Reed. Reed will take care of you. Take good care of her. I prefer that as an ending, personally. King of Swords. There we are. Nice, real quick. What was that five minutes later we get the next ending? And that's for taking Songbird home to give it to Reed. So on this save file, if we complete through Pain to Heaven, we actually get the trophy, the tower, which is survive Night City and start a new life. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go find something to do until Reed does contact us. Whilst waiting for the call from Reed, we decide to get dirty deeds for completing all 10 gigs in Dogtown for Mr. Hands. Boom! Close the contract. Dirty deeds. Complete every gig in Dogtown. Oh, nice one. All right, let's go get this trophy. The APB is not enough. I think it's just for getting five stars on the police. All right, here we go. Police down. Come on, how, how hard is it to get another star? Four stars. Need one more. One more star. One down. Where's the other one? In the knees. Yes, the APB is not enough. There you go. Five stars. All right, now we've got to get out of here. The final mission for Mr. Hands was Run This Town. This mission grants us the Spin Doctor trophy simply for completing it. With Kurt Hansen dead, it's time Dogtown replaced the leader. Again, using Mission Impossible style biometric disguises, we create the appearance of Aguilar, Kurt Hansen's personal assassin. Mr. Hands wants us to make an individual named Jago to back down, so we show him what it's all about. Attending the wake of Kurt Hansen is where we declare Bennett the new leader, and this completes our mission. Thank you, Mr. Hans. We get the trophy Spin Doctor for completing Run This Town. Come on. We're now off to areas with increased criminal activity for the Judgment Day trophy. It's here the remaining skill points are on offer as well for the Relic Ruler trophy. Okay, we have four Relic points. That means we can acquire all the last skills for the trophy Relic Ruler. That's the full tree in the relics. All the perks in the relic tree, rather. Oh, I'm well happy with that. There he is, Ross Ulmer. I'm gonna hack him with my uh, with my axe. No, 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 you will die to axe. Woo, judgment day, there it is. Eliminate three bosses from the increased criminal activity category. Suck it. 
Now we've cracked on with a ton of miscellaneous tasks, we finally get our call from Reed. As promised with delivering Songbird, the president has set up a way for the relic to be removed. A very different sidetrack from the main game. We're taken away by the medical team and the next thing we see is a slow reawakening. We wake up from what could be a simple nap with Reed watching over us. He breaks the news that we've been in a coma for two years. He also explains the relic was removed successfully with only one hitch. All our cybernetics have been removed and using Annie will basically kill us. Merc days are now over for V. We decide to head back to Night City to pay a visit to the only guy that would see us from our past, Victor. The game then ends, providing us with a long-awaited ending, The Tower, for completing this alternative ending from the mission, Things Done Changed. There it is, The Tower. That is for completing Things Done Changed. You only can get that through that storyline in particular, three missions after the Songbird ending one. So now we go all the way back to Firestar to save, where we're going to take the other option to get the last two endings. Flashback, we're back here now. Kurt Hansen is alive, Songbird's here. <sighs> Feels like a forever ago I was at this point. All right, here we go. Betray Songbird. One more second. Whoa. She knew it was coming. Songbird knew it was coming. Oh, so in one hand, Alex kills Kurt. On the other hand, Kurt kills Alex. Back to the double barrel. Boom, boom. In the knees, son. You want some two? Boom. Oh, it's Kurt Hansen. Here he is. Ah, so if you don't kill him one way, he dies another way. There, we got him. <sighs> Fucking hell. Actually pretty tough. Get in. I'm in. I'm in. Go, Reed. Go. Well, the Songbird ending was a lot easier than this ending so far. <laughs> I'll tell you that. But I'm with Reed. I'm on his good side. And I want to be Idris Elba's friend. Our mission continues following the Blackwall trail that will eventually lead to Songbird. She's locked us out of all rooms and doors and opening them via hacks and escaping a giant scary fucking robot has us fearing for our lives. Eventually we'll reach the core to where Songbird is plugged in. Our first ending is King of Cups for completing Songbird's request. Kill Somi. Okay, I'll do it. So this is for the first... This is for the first one. First of the two endings on this playthrough anyway. Why is Phantom Liberty so sad? Such an upsetting DLC. We deliver Songbird to President Mize, but as our deal was to bring Songbird back alive, the relic extraction is off. There it is, King of Cups. Fulfill Songbird's request. Now we have one more trophy to get, and it's the final ending. And we're gonna go right back to it. We go again, restarting from an extremely convenient save to unlock the next trophy, King of Pentacles, for refusing Songbird's request to kill her. And here we are back in the core ready for our final choice for the Phantom Liberty trophies. That's not a solution. And then I won't do it. With Reed happy Songbird remains alive, we take her back to President Myers one last time. Finally, a happier ending. There it is, King of Pentacles for the last ending of the game. We have now got 100% completion in the Phantom Liberty. Oh, that was really good. There was a lot of endings to do. They were very long and very sad. <laughs> but we have got the complete 100% now on Cyberpunk 2077. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to check out more like the ones on screen you see now. Thank you again to our NC Collective for all the amazing support. Make sure to smash that like button, guys. Comment below what games you'd like to see. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.